morning. Happy Sunday. I just got ready for a workout, so I'll show you my outfit details before I head on out. I'll link everything down below for you guys as usual. Leggings are Ali Yoga, sports bra, Lululemon, and then my favorite on cloud sneakers. I also forgot to take my vitamins. I always take the ritual vitamins in the morning, but I was supposed to leave two minutes ago. Let's see. Actually, no, five minutes ago. So let's get out of here. Couple hours later, I just got ready for the beach. I'm wearing this swimsuit from Target. It's just like the classic trusty bikini, but I need to get some new bikinis and like actually good quality ones that are really flattering. So if you have a favorite place to get your bikinis or a swimwear brand that you love, please let me know in the comments. But then I'm just wearing these denim shorts from Zara. I have never felt more content. The water feels so nice. It's literally like a bathtub. It's incredible. As much as I love the beach, I love coming home and refreshing after the beach just as much. It's like my favorite feeling. Just taking the shower, getting all the sand off. I need to start a load of laundry and just wash like all my towels and everything. I didn't wash my hair, I just rinsed it because I washed it the other day. So I just put in this leave-in conditioner. It's the Soleil Chanero milk leave-in conditioner, the bomb. I always have this linked on my Amazon storefront because it makes my hair so silky soft and it doesn't frizz at all, which especially in the Florida heat and humidity, that is crucial. I cannot get enough of it. But I'm gonna brush through my hair and then change because I'm actually going to go get some take go probably like crisp and green that's low-key one of my favorite restaurants and they just opened one in tampa it is the best they just have such good salads it's similar to sweet green but i personally like it better i'm like i don't know if it's just because it's from minnesota so i feel like a little minnesota roots you know we're gonna do that and then i think watch sunset I'm so excited, these are literally the best salads ever. I got the Thai and Stop Me salad and then this is the Fiesta rice bowl. So good. morning happy monday today's gonna be a very busy monday i'm starting off the morning with a workout at orange theory because i coach four classes tonight back to back and i just feel more confident coaching the classes when i have it taken the workout and i know how it should feel so i'm gonna head in take class and then we'll get the rest of the morning going like i said busy monday lots of things to do i have a couple errands to run some work i want to get done on my computer and all of that I told you guys a few vlogs ago, I'm trying to get better at arranging flowers and actually having fresh flowers in my home. So here we are. I stopped at Trader Joe's on my way back from Orange Theory this morning and I got two bunches of flowers and I'm gonna attempt to make some sort of bouquet with these two. There's a lot of flowers in these, I'm generally shocked. So I'm gonna mix up these flowers and put them in this little vase. This will be for my kitchen. And if I have any extra, which I'm definitely gonna have lots of extras, I'll put them in this little vase for my living room, which is cute. But I just love fresh flowers. These are some tall boys though. I have to cut them down. Ugh. I should like look up different flower arrangements on Pinterest so I actually have an idea next time of something to go off of. But just for now, to give my 
apartments in life. We'll do these bad boys. Oh no, I need to cut these down. But I swear it does add like such a big difference. The tiniest bit of greenery and liveliness in the apartment makes a world of a difference. If anybody like arranges flowers, they're probably watching this just cringing at my act of doing so because I have no artistic eye for things like this. I really don't think I have that much of an artistic eye in general. Like I always say that my friends have more of like an aesthetic than me. I just always feel like they're the ones that can find the good aesthetic shot and make something look so good. I just, I can't do that. At least I think I can't. Maybe I'm just doubting myself and we're working on that, okay? I always get these colorful, I think they're called like colorful baby's breath. I always get these ones from Trader Joe's because I like how simple they are. <laughs> you guys, this is actually turning out so badly. Oh my God, this is kind of comical. Okay, maybe I need to just cut these down a little bit. I'm proving my point of having no artistic eye for things. I'm just like shoving these in here. There we go, that's a little better. Let's do a whole 360 moment. Okay, pretty, right by my kitchen sink. I kind of like where I put the flowers off to show you guys in a second. I just think my counter space is so spacious that when there's nothing on it, it looks very, very bare. So I just want to spice it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to keep the flowers over in the corner and stuff by the kitchen sink. But now I have enough to probably do something with this little guy. I don't know. This is kind of like a funky vase because the stems literally have to go around in a circle. <laughs> do you guys think you were coming to a flower arrangement show today? Probably not. Should you take advice from me? Also, probably not. Okay, not gonna lie, this actually might work out. I just vacuumed my floor too, and these little baby breath pieces are getting like everywhere. Okay, I don't think that looks terrible. It doesn't look good, but she'll do. She will do. I just put together this little flower arrangement situation, and I love how it looks. I think the flowers just needed something instead of standing alone next to the kitchen sink, which is where I typically put my flowers. So I have this serving tray from Home Goods. It still has a sticker on it. I need to like scrub that off, and then I just added a little candle to fill up the tray a little more. But it definitely just spices up the kitchen counter a little bit and kind of fills up the space because the kitchen counter is so big. But I love that. I think it's so cute. This is the other floral situation. It definitely is sad looking, but it's okay. I just needed something in this corner. I feel like it doesn't look that bad. It definitely needs work for sure. In the future, I'm not gonna cut them down so short. I think they could be yay high and look way better. But that's where I put the other little vase, just next to the couch for some color. You guys know I'm a freak about aloe and last night I got an order delivered because I picked up so many things during their like semi-annual sale. I'll have everything that I show you guys linked down below, but holy moly, they have the cutest things for spring. It's not even funny. I freaked out when the order came in. I've already tried everything on. I posted a TikTok, but I wanted to show you guys in the vlog because everything is so stinking cute. Definitely like my favorite color combos that I've gotten from aloe in such a long time. But first things first, these leggings. This green color, I like can't get over it. These are the 7 8 airbrush leggings. Probably hands down my favorite leggings to work out in and just honestly hang around in because they're so comfy, they're so soft. They're super thick too and they just hold up really well no matter how many times you wash them. So I swear by these leggings and this green color is just everything. I can't get enough of it. And then naturally I had to get a matching top because I like when I have matching tops and bottoms. But sadly, they were like sold out of so many things like right away, I was genuinely shocked. So I had to get this top in a medium, which I'm gonna return bummer because it's too big around the bust, but it's so cute on. I ended up getting it also in black because they had um, the black color true to my size. This is a size small and it just fits so, so, so well. I honestly might just have to pick this up in white because I do love the style of this bra. And like the cut, this is one of the newer bras that Aloe came out with. I've never seen it before. And I really, really like it. Also, it's like that ribbed material and you guys know I'm a sucker for that ribbed material, especially with like workout clothes. So comfortable. And then speaking of white, I did get a white bra, but holy moly, you guys, the boobs are busting out. Like this looks like a bikini, honestly. It's called the showstopper top. And you wonder why. No, you don't even wonder why because you put it on and you're like, damn, that's that's why literally your boobs are like out in this. So I'm a thousand percent returning it, but it is very, very flattering on. It's just too much of like a plunged V-neck look. And I don't need that. I don't need that for my workout class. I don't have anyone in there that I'm trying to impress, even though it is 
is really, really cute. This pink, are we kidding? This is just everything. Like this is me in a workout set, I swear. These are the airlift leggings. These and the airbrush, so, so, so good. I'd say these are probably like my top in my top three of favorite workout leggings. So comfy and this color is literally perfect. I was so happy that I was able to get a matching bra because I was a little nervous since they sold out of this so freaking quickly and I had to get an extra small, which is not typically at all what I would get for these bras because I do have like 34C to D bras, bras with boobs. So this was a little risky. The girlies are definitely like tucked in there. They are airtight in this bra but it's worth it because this matching set together is just too good and i really like these bras except they are definitely more of like that lower cut so it's risky to wear it for a hit workout like something like orange theory or berries i definitely wouldn't wear them for but if you're doing like pilates or yoga so cute for that also these leggings i wear for any type of workout and i always size down typically in aloe in their leggings and their pants i always get a size down just because i find that they run a little bit bigger and i've recommended that to people like previously and they agree so always size down is my recommendation for that and then these last two pieces are hands down like essentials. I a thousand percent recommend them. They're just so freaking cute and especially just for running errands or like lounging around or going for like walk something like that. Starting off this is the clubhouse skirt, so it looks like a skirt in the front and then on the back it's a pair of shorts obviously but it has pockets which is so nice. A pocket in the front and then a pocket on the back and then lastly this is the tank so freaking supported the second i put this on i was like oh i could wear this on a run i could wear this to an orange theory class it's padded and also it just holds everything in super nicely and the thick straps we love and it's ribbed material so flattering i love this and then it just has like aloe in the center if they had this in a bunch of different colors i would probably stock up just because i know i'll be wearing this all the time they did have it in this green color which i couldn't get my hands on because they were sold out of it right away. Otherwise, you guys know I would have done a matching set moment with the green tank and these pants, but still it's super cute and I love it. So I'll have everything that I got linked down below for you guys if you wanna check anything out. But yeah, that's my little aloe haul. I'm gonna get doing some work for a little bit and then we'll get ready to go coach tonight. It's about two o'clock. I'm about to head out and go coach my classes tonight. I coach at three and then the last class is at 6.45, so four classes back to back. Gonna be a busy afternoon, but I'm gonna stop at Publix on my way there, get a Celsius, and then we'll be all good to go. Secured the Celsius. I haven't ever had this flavor, so let's hope it's good. 